Hi everybody, welcome to Vintage Inspirations. I'm Tanya. Um, today I will be doing my um, Easter skate. So this is the table. I already ironed and laid out the tablecloth because that would have been too much to do. Because you have to, you know, when you have a long table like this, you have to go from left to right to, <laughs> to left to right. So that's a bit much. I did that already. So that's down. It's just a plain white vintage tablecloth. And I wanted like some kind of contrast. So I added like a beige, I don't have a beige runner. So I wanted, I just put it that way because it didn't look right this way because it's not tr truly a runner. And like the ends were showing here because it was ending here. It's not long enough to fall over. So I put it that way. You'll see, you can see it a little bit in the shot right there, but you'll see a little better. And behind me, I have everything that I'm going to be using, at least I think, for this setup. So I'll turn the camera around and we'll get started. And I hope everybody's doing well. And if you're new to this channel, please consider subscribing. Um, I'm trying to get to um, 500 subscribers so I can start selling things and making my channel a little bit more fun and um, fashionable, you know. All right, so let's get started on the Easter skate. I'm, I'm making this video early because I want to give you ideals to create your own Easter setting for your family. So that's why I'm putting the video out early. If I put it out Easter, like what good is it? Because even if you get some ideals or tips from it, you can't use it to next year. So yeah, so that's why I'm doing it ahead of time. I tend to always do my tablescapes ahead of time so it gives you some ideals and tips to use in your family holidays. And what else? Um, and also, um, if you have any uh, comments, concerns, you know, please leave in the comments. And, and, and um, also, you know, hit the like button. It really helps my channel grow. Okay, let's get started. I think that's a great shot. We'll give it a, sh a try. So you see the runner? See how I have it in the middle of the table? Yeah, okay. I moved all the chairs so I won't be bumping in and out. So it'll kind of go, be like a smooth transition. Okay. So bear with me because you know I'm alone so I can't like hold the camera and maneuver the camera at the same time. So uh, what do we start with? Um, I think I'll start with, oh, you know what? Um, I guess I should have showed you what I had up here, but I guess you'll see it because what I'm going to do, I was saying I should have showed you what I had on the display, but what I'll do is once I'm done, I'll zoom the camera in and then show you everything how it's set up. Okay. I have these two wooden bays. These go into some vases. In fact, I'm not going to talk. I'm just going to decorate. Let's see if I can get a larger view, push it back some. Okay, I think that's a little bit better. All right. Okay, I think that's good. All right. Is it straight? Yeah. All right. Whatever I'm going to do on one side, I'll do on the opposite side. I didn't know 
why it's going to be so hard going back and forth. Maybe I should have had a visitor come help me on this one, but uh, I guess we'll get through it. Yeah, I guess we'll get through it. I'm using this pattern. What is it called? It's called Finlandia by Mayat. I don't have a complete set, but I have a lot. And I think I'm going to... Okay, I guess I'll put this here because I don't have the two. Yeah. I like that. That looks cute. I'm running the same thing on the other side. You don't worry. You get to see it in just a minute. <laughs> um, no, I don't have any more mats. So let me see. One, two. Okay, I have four. Okay, I think it's coming out cute. A few more things to do. One, two, three, four. Okay, I'll put them in here. I'll be right back. I got to go get two more of these.
two more. Okay, so what do you, I think it looks cute so far. Let me continue. Now I'm confused. <laughs> I think that looks cute. Here's a little bird we just picked up from the Salvation Army. Isn't it cute? That's why I bought it, just for this. few more napkins I'll be right back oh I have them here okay okay I only have four napkin rings well at least in what I thought would match. So. Sorry. Maybe I won't put no more. It's just those two, one there and one there. And then I have this beautiful. Remember we thrifted that a while back? Isn't it beautiful? I just love it. Where did it come from? I don't know. It says made in China. I'm not sure.
I keep forgetting I'm videotaping. I'm covering the camera. I'm so sorry. <laughs> it's my first time doing something like this. So. using gemstone egg. Enough. I didn't put the basket there. I'm not sure where that go. OK, 
Okay, I'm gonna zoom in and let you guys take a peek. Okay, this is the tablescape. Uh, you can get kind of an idea. I think it came out beautiful. Yeah. Remember, I'm not monetized, so I just can't go out buying things. So I have to use what I have. And I put like the best Easter, the, the, the closest China that I had to Easter was the blue and white. So um, that's what I chose to use. And actually, I think it pairs nice. You know, you don't have to do like pink and all those bright colors for Easter. It's just whatever you want. You can do purple and white, blue and white, black and white, orange and white, a bunch of colors. Whatever inspires you. Um, I added some moss for a little, you know, uh, kind of like a little level to give it a little, you know, dramatic effect of Easter. Added a beautiful Easter ornament. I wish I had two of these. I only have one. Through the napkin holder. And then I added a gorgeous napkin with a little geese to bring some little Easter to the t You know, I think that looks beautiful. I love that right there. Um, let me see if I can squeeze through here. Okay, and that's that little bird that we bought the other day. He's too cute. I'm glad I purchased him just for this video. So this is a, um the side bowls. Um, as you can see, you can buy if you have six of these, that would be even better. I only had two, so I put one at the end, the queen and the king end of the table. And then I also added that, and I think that looks cute too. For the vases. I used a white uh, fake flower, some blackberries. I'll show you the blackberries. This one's facing this way. The blackberries and then a eucalyptus. And I did both for the same, you know, the same in this vase as well. The blackberries, eucalyptus, and then the white flower. I think it looks gorgeous. I really do. I like that a lot. For the centerpiece, I have the, uh, the egg um, dish. I would have preferred to put, um, you know, real boiled eggs, you know, but this is just a video, so I'm trying to make it whimsical, but that will look gorgeous. And for my centerpiece, this is not what I wanted. I wanted that basket over there, and I would have put that basket here. Let me go get it. Let me put this camera down for one second. I'm going to leave it right there. Give me a minute. Okay, let me show you what I was talking about. So I would have put this bowl over here somewhere. I would have put that down here. Centerpiece, I wanted to do this basket as a centerpiece, which would have looked gorgeous. Let me move this so I can explain to you what I'm talking about. This is quite, this, this uh, egg platter is quite heavy. It has all those marble eggs on it. Okay. So that's what I wanted. Doesn't that look gorgeous? Oh, yes. <laughs> but I wanted to fill this up with moss. And that's why you saw me at the Dollar Trees. I was looking for moss. I even went to um, Target. I couldn't find any moss. I guess it's just not this time, the time of the year. Um, this moss I had in my arts and crafts. Thank God I had something because I wanted to bring that to, to give it some Easter feel. You know, you have grass and moss and things like that. So... If you're going to do, uh, if you're going to, you know, pick up ideals from me, have a basket in the centerpiece. It goes so gorgeous with this. Um, like a, a wooden mat. Fill this with like napkins or newspaper on the bottom and then put a layer of moss. Preferably the brown moss. The brown moss. And then put these eggs on top. And that would have looked gorgeous. But I couldn't find the moss. You see, I went to, I think, two Dollar Trees. I even filmed it. <laughs> It's not the season. I couldn't find any. But at least I had some for this. And this looks beautiful. Your children would love that. If you have small kids, you don't have to use these fake eggs. You can actually boil the eggs and dye them and color them and then sit them in here. It would be gorgeous. And then, you know, I love to add ducks and birds and things like that. It's uh, Easter inspired. And this is similar. I didn't have the same one, but I have another Christmas ornament. It's gorgeous. So I put that there. That moss gets a little messy. Let's slide it over. Okay, that looks a little better. And that's the shot from here. I think it looks beautiful. I even added some um, 
Wedgwood. I was going to say Dove. <laughs> it's Wedgwood. <laughs> yeah. Is it similar? This one, I don't have a third bowl, I mean a fourth bowl. So I just did it on the plate. And these are good for serving, whatever you're going to be serving that day. Um, I love this with that green egg. That looks beautiful. That moss makes a mess. And then I added that flower. I'm, this is be just beautiful. You see that? I mean, that is just gorgeous. Sometimes they have the most beautiful things at the thrift store. I'm not where, sure where it came from. It says made in China. Let me show you. Top Designs. Maybe that's the name of the store. It's in uh, Oklahoma, but it says made in China. But it's be beautifully made with the bow and the lavender and just... I mean, of course, it's imitation, but it's just beautiful. It's stunning. I love it. And I think it looks perfect right, right there. Yeah. Okay, so that's it. I hope you enjoyed it. And then this would just go like here on that side. And then, of course, I would put real eggs or colored dyed eggs. But um, let me see if I can give you a better shot. Kind of difficult. My other phone, I couldn't record for a long time, but it used to give me a wide range. This phone doesn't do it. I hope you enjoyed it. I think it came out lovely. I really love it. I actually love the... I never thought to do blue and white for Easter. Never thought to do that, but you got to get creative. And oh, this is creativity. I really wish I could have got that moss for you for the um to do the centerpiece, but unfortunately, I couldn't find any. I did try. <laughs> I did try. Yeah. Because this looks way better than that egg. Don't you agree? See, it looks just beautiful than that uh, egg platter there. But it didn't look bad either. Let's put it back how we had it and see the difference. You know, they both look nice. Yeah, they both look nice. Mm-hmm. I have these. These are so vintage, these little eggs. They open up. I'm not sure where I got them some years back, but they're cute. Let me show them to you. Some little lambs. I have one, two, three, four, five. And one fell in the closet. I have to dig it out. That is gorgeous, isn't it? See, they don't make beautiful stuff like this anymore. These are from uh, Made in England. That is beautiful. They really do try, though. They really do try, but the vintage is just darling. That is beautiful. <laughs> the little frog. I love it. Let's see. Oh, last but not least. Oh, darling, darling, darling. And you can put toys and things in these, too. They sell them. You know, of course, you may not can't find the vintage ones, but they have the modern ones. They're just not as gorgeous. But for kids, don't notice the difference. And I think I showed everything. Yeah, it was so simple, so simple. And I and I I'm I'm, I'm impressed because you know I had the vision in my mind, and I think it came out beautiful. It kind of reminds me of like an English uh, Sunday Easter. You know, it's just beautiful minus the food. Yeah, if I had a family, I would have food served on this table not like grass and plastic i mean uh marble eggs no because i would have a family to eat i can't cook food i who's going to eat it so let's go around one more time so you can get some tips and ideas and you see how that runner made it look gorgeous for the centerpiece coming down and then I did symmetry, both vases on. I don't put like two vases on that side and two candles on that side. Give it some symmetry. See, it's all balance. A candle, a vase, a candle, a vase. And then that plate on that end is identical to that plate on that end. And then I put the serving dish there and then the serving platter here. You know, to balance it. And this is why I added this. Because it kind of separates and divides it and it brings a pop to the table. Yeah, it's like levels. That's what I'm looking for. It brings levels. And see, like, that's why I like the basket ideal because it gives it some height. 
and then you put the eggs on top and it really pulls it up and gives it some height and it makes it a centerpiece this is too low for a centerpiece but it's not bad especially if you got a whole lot of deviled eggs on there sprinkle with some red paprika that would just be gorgeous and with this this was a thrifted find. I've been trying to pick these up. I could never find them, but I found just enough to set the table. Two blue for the ends and then that uh, brown one for the middle. And then I had these uh, linens. So it's a uh, round tablecloth, I mean table mat, and then a, a square linen. And as you can see, the linen is not covering the, t the table mat. So you see, you still get that round effect. It's different levels. And then I put a white plate and a nice little linen put an egg through the end put some moss just look i love the way it came out and this is just perfect this was a last minute thought when i was digging for these white ones i said i want to use this in something and i didn't know where it was going to go but i figured it out right there at that first uh that first uh bowl that i served up <laughs> this one yeah that's where i started and i just did it it looked cute and, and I had um all six of these, so they go all around. And see, this one doesn't have a mat. It just has the um linen, a plate, a plate. And then this one has a bowl, because I only have, I only have, like I said, I don't have this whole set. So I only have three bowls. And who makes this set? Let's see. I know it's from England. Yeah, it says England, but it's a name. There it is. Marriott Finlandy. Find Staffordshire Ware, Staffordshire Ware, England, 1962. Okay, let's see if we can get you a better one. I saw a better one on one piece I was holding up as I was filming. I think it was this one. Let me put it in the light. See, Maya is by Maya Finlandia. Isn't that a beautiful back stamp? Just gorgeous. I got these a long time ago. I don't even remember where. Some had broke. I used to have like a corner cabinet. I mean, you know, like a corner shelf, a wooden, like kind of like a vintage style, not mid-century, a vintage style set in the corner. And these um, was, you know, on the shelf. It looked gorgeous. And I do have a lot more pieces, but I only have three bowls. Okay, I think we're done. This is made in USA. That's gorgeous. That was a thrifted piece too. You've seen all these items like I thrifted that and I thrifted, remember I thrifted this when I went to that thrift store, that big one. And I told you I had this, but this is way heavier than the one that was in that store. They look similar though. They did a great job. And this little guy we just bought, he's so cute. And if you're going to make like um pies or cakes, you can just sit them in the corners because each corner is pretty much empty, so you could add more. Okay, hope you guys enjoy. God bless, and happy Easter. And if you have any questions, please feel free to comment. God bless.